Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with Cruise Tips TV and this video comes as a special request from one of our subscribers. They said, look, we see you doing your packing videos. You're always doing pack with me videos, but we want you to do a what I pack versus what I wore. Meaning like what hit the floor? What did you actually live in on your cruise? What did you leave in the corner of the closet? What did you wish that you had packed? All that good stuff. So we are actually going to do that, but this is kind of cool. We're actually back from two cruises. So I'm gonna be reviewing what I packed versus what I wore on my Caribbean cruise. It was 12 nights on Princess. What I packed versus what I wore on my Bermuda cruise on Norwegian Escape. Both of them had very different weather and it's gonna be a fun one. So we're gonna talk about what I wore most, what I didn't wear, mistakes that I made, and things I had to buy. Anything that I mentioned today that you can purchase on Amazon, for example, will be linked down in the description. And this video is sponsored today by Level 8 Suitcases. We'll get to that in just a little bit. So let's start with talking about um, a little homework assignment for you guys. First thing you wanna do, is know that this is a video series. So you wanna go back and watch the Pack With Me video linked. Also, you're gonna to wanna to watch the cabin organization video because in that video, I kinda of talked about how I utilized things like these new toiletry bags and where everything was. And it, it's kind of like a, this is kind of step three in the series. So if you can go back and watch those videos, that'd be great. If not, watch them afterwards. All right, let's start with what I did not wear on my Caribbean cruise. So remember, this is Regal Princess. This was a hot cruise. Southern Caribbean, really warm down there, over 80 every day, really muggy, rainy as well. So we're gonna talk about the stuff that I did not wear first. The first thing that was kind of a womp, 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 fail. You saw it in my packing video. It was this maxi dress. I thought it was cute on the hanger and it was just a massive flop on the cruise. I put it on and I hated it. It was weird across my chest. I didn't even take a photo of it, you guys. I just couldn't, I just couldn't. I didn't like it. It's really cute though on the hanger and of course it's cute on the model, but guys, I just didn't wear it. So that was a little bit of a fail and it's so big. I was mad because it took up a lot of space in my suitcase. Oh, have you ever had that happen to you? All right, second thing I did not wear on my Caribbean cruise, not one time in two weeks did I wear my sneakers. Packed my sneakers, didn't wear them. Also, did not even touch my workout clothes. Those kind of go hand in hand. Didn't wear, didn't touch them, did not wear them at all. The other thing I really didn't wear much was my socks. I was really weird, but I packed a few pairs of socks and I just never touched them because the weather was so hot. The other thing I did not wear that I usually wear on just about every cruise is a shawl or a wrap. I didn't even need it on the airplane because the weather was just so incredibly warm. So let's switch gears for a moment and let's talk about luggage. Again, this video is sponsored by Level 8. They have awesome products. I will link to everything mentioned in the description of this video. And I was a customer of theirs well before they were a sponsor of our channel. I bought my own suitcases and that is why they're a sponsor because they're the best. So. The suitcases that I took on this, uh, the, both of these cruises, to be honest, the um, Level 8 Grace is one of our family's favorites because it has some extendability here on the side. And in the front, you can put a laptop if you want. Now, this suitcase isn't right for everybody because not everybody needs a laptop or a tablet space. So if you don't need that, you might wanna consider something more like the Voyager. Now, the Voyager is a beautiful suitcase. This is one of my favorites. But what makes this one unique is that it has these really wide handles. So this is not right for you if you wanna slide something over the trolley handle. So in our case, what we did is my husband used this bag because he doesn't put a bag on his trolley handle. He actually utilizes a backpack. So as a result of this wide handle, the rollability and the maneuverability on this thing through the airport are so top notch. So I love this suitcase. Now, this one also comes in a jumbo size that is absolutely beautiful. And I, I'm gonna freak my husband out right now when I say this, but I cannot wait for the time when I drive to a cruise instead of flying so that I can pack the Voyager. I actually think I would fit in the Voyager. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? What do you guys think? Is this like a 28 inch suitcase? I think it's about 28 inches, but I love it. It's gorgeous. It has that wide handle. 
and mark my words, folks, one of these days when we're driving to port, mama is gonna pack the big granddaddy Voyager. Now, here's a fun one. We actually also took with us the glitter suitcase. It's not really glittery, as you can see, it's just a nice texture. What I love about this carry-on is that it actually comes with a cover. This cover goes over top of the suitcase. So when we were flying to New York and we thought, oh man, things might get a little roughed up. It's supposed to be cold. It's supposed to be rainy. We put this over the top and I just knew that my suitcase would be completely protected the whole time. And it really felt good to see it like all covered up. So that's kind of how it all worked out with our luggage. All carry on for both cruises. It worked out awesome. But one of these days, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be naughty and I'm gonna pack a big suitcase, just you wait. It's gonna be fun. Okay, next, I have another um, bag that I actually used a lot on this cruise. That was a, um, this was my personal item on the flights. And what's amazing about this is that this bag actually holds shoes in the bottom. Check this out. I popped a couple of pair of shoes in there to show you guys. So for smaller shoes, maybe women's shoes, I'd say you could fit probably two pair in there, but this is a really efficient bag and this worked out so well for us. So we're gonna put that in like the wins category, right? Definitely wins. A few things about our flight too. Some things that worked out really, really well. I had this plan because one of our subscribers gave us a tip that I wanted to put everything I'd use on the flight in a little tiny packing cube that I could store with me and keep like right at my airplane seat. So like right when you sit down, you guys know how it works. You slide your bag under the seat in front of you and then it kind of becomes a pain to get stuff out of that bag. So what if you could just put everything you needed in a little bag and then slide it in the seat back in front of you? Well, that is what we did with this one. And it worked out pretty good, although I will say this is a little too thick. So next time I'm gonna take something smaller, like a really small packing cube, or like maybe, you know, like a little plastic pouch or something and really kind of shrink that down. So that worked out great, but a little too big. Second thing is these TSA bags were amazing. I had shared in our packing video that I, got these TSA bags and what made them unique is that they open from the top like this instead of being, you know, they open all the way is what I'm trying to say. So you can actually put your makeup in them and put them on the counter. There's just something about these that I really like and this goes into the wins category. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk about the good stuff. What did I actually wear? in the Caribbean on our hot, rainy cruise. What were the one, the things that I wore that I packed? I wore this cover up and I'm gonna show you some photos as we go through this. I'm gonna start putting photos on the screen of things that I wore. I wore this thing so many times. I think I washed it three times on the cruise, you guys. Three times. It was so great. I washed it in cool water, hung it to dry, and re-wore it over and over on beach days. This is a win and yes, I absolutely have a link to that. I also wore a lot of dresses. I actually wore this dress in a different color on my Regal Princess Cruise. And as you can see here, not belted, it's kind of it's kind of wide and flowy and baby dolly, which is cute. But for me, I like a little more waist accentuation. So I actually paired it with this belt that I'm wearing here. And that was a really good win. For formal nights, these are the two dresses that I wore for formal night. This one is from Amazon. Now this one was a little too hot for the Caribbean. I felt like I was wearing my grandma's curtains. It was so warm. You guys can see the fabric is sort of um, heavy and elegant and velvety. This would be really nice if you were going to Alaska or Canada, New England, but this was kind of on the fail category, even though I did wear it, because I was really, I was kind of sweating when I wore this, but it's very cute and it comes in lots of colors and it fits like a dream. I also wore this one from Boot Barn on both cruises to formal night. When paired with fancy shoes, this looks really, really good, either for a formal night or like Norwegian, they don't really have a required formal night. So I just wore this to the French restaurant and sipped on my Veuve Champagne and felt elegant, right? With some good eye makeup. And it just felt kind of dressy. I don't have a link to this, but if you ever go to Boot Barn, the brand is Molly Bracken and it runs really large size way down. So 
those were kind of my um some of my dresses for the caribbean another thing that i wore just an absolute ton in the caribbean were jean shorts and i have two pair of jean shorts um, that i want to show you now one of the things i wish i would have done is bought more of these before I left. These are democracy. I wear them in a size eight, pretty true to size. And because I liked them so much, I found another pair I like a lot on Amazon. These are called Jag, and they're also good, like lady body <laughs> jeans, like mom bod jeans. And I got these in a 10. I went up to a 10, and they had said that they sized a little bit better that way, and they look they're a good fit. So anyway, mom shorts for the win. I wore them all the time on this cruise. And if I wanted to look a little less momish, I rolled them up and made them look a little more Daisy Duke, right? If I could ever really be Daisy Duke. I also wore flip flops all the time. Gonna tell you a funny story about my flip flops later. Another thing I wore on my Caribbean cruise just a ton is this robe from Amazon. It is, it's basically like almost ankle length and I literally wore it as my pajamas every day for two weeks. Again, used the laundromat, washed it several times, loved the robe, this was a total win. And of course I wore some wedge sandals uh, to dinners and things like that. So let's talk about the second cruise, totally opposite cruise. This was out of New York City in November to Bermuda, short five night cruise, and OMG, you guys, <sighs> the weather was so cold. I did not really plan ahead for my packing game for this cruise as good as I should have. In fact, this outfit that I'm gonna put on the screen right now, where I'm getting off the ship, it was 35 degrees in New York City the day that we got off, and this was the kind of outfit I pretty much needed every day. Jeans, layers, a leather jacket, which I actually wore a leather jacket to sail away, and a scarf. It was cold. Makes sense, it's New York City. Going to Bermuda in November, what was I thinking, right? So anyway, lots of jeans. I, um, contrary to my Caribbean cruise, I wore the shawl and the wrap pretty much every single day. Now, <laughs> funny story, I actually somehow managed to leave my flip-flop sandals at the hotel in New York City and had no sandals for the cruise and had to wear my sneakers with my dress my dresses the whole week. I had a pair of wedges that worked, but what was I thinking? I just straight up left my flip-flops in the hotel, so be careful about that. Another thing I did was re-wore my jeans and my, my uh, like sweaters throughout the day, like the one that I wore on boarding day, I would wash it, re-wear it throughout that cruise because it was pretty chilly. But I did wear a new couple of items on this cruise. This one, which I took a really pretty photo of in front of the Norwegian sort of light feature in their atrium. This was kind of pretty, but as I was sharing on Amazon Live the other day, once I put it on, I kind of felt like a nun, so it was cute, but it wasn't my absolute favorite. Now this romper actually was great. So for the days when the sun did peek out, this romper was a total win. Both of these are available on Amazon and I definitely recommend them for a cruise. They're wonderful, they're sort of wrinkle resistant and pretty great. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the mistakes and things that I learned on this cruise because I honestly, you guys, I make packing mistakes on every single cruise and I learn things every time. Number one mistake, I forgot to pack a rash guard for my husband. So when we were in the Caribbean, out in the sun all day, every day, you know, going to beaches, even though it was rainy and overcast, I felt kind of bad because we were like having to sunscreen the heck out of him because I forgot my rash card. guard. Another thing I did that was a really weird mistake is on my suitcase, this is really weird. I left it on to show you guys. On my level eight, I placed this cruise luggage tag too low. Can you see this? It was dragging on the ground and hitting the wheels and it was making us crazy in the airport because it would actually like, it would actually get stuck under the suitcase. So lesson learned, I will not do that again. Another thing I already sort of mentioned is I should have had two pair of shorts on a 12 night Caribbean cruise. I literally went with one pair of shorts. That was kind of silly. Next time I'd pack more shorts and more basic t-shirt type things to wear by day. Another thing that happened on this cruise, and I don't know if this is a mistake or it was just a funny party foul, is my shoe broke. My favorite Dolce Vita 
wedges, I guess you could call them, they came apart during the cruise. And so I had to fix them and I'll tell you how I fixed them in a little bit. But I actually threw them away on the last day because they got trashed and I, the way I fixed them was not a good permanent solution. So I did what some cruisers suggest and I actually threw my shoes away on the last day of the cruise because they were, they, I, they gave me two really good years. So that was good. Another mistake I made is I didn't take a passport neck wallet in the airport on either of these cruises. And, you know, I kind of liked my crossbody purse approach where I just wore it on the front of my body. But there were a few times when I was kind of regretting not having that. And then one last packing mistake we made is we forgot to pack emergency. And here we are flying a couple times in November. People were coughing and sneezing and blowing their nose all around us. And we didn't pack enough immunity stuff. So I think I'd take more immunity protection. So that's kind of the last mistake. There were just a couple things also that I had to buy on this cruise. Not a lot though, not a lot. Um, one of them was sunscreen because we flew uh, and did carry on only. I couldn't really fly with like big size sunscreen. So when we got to Fort Lauderdale, we walked from the Embassy Suites over to Publix, which is a grocery store and bought our sunscreen. No big deal, but I did have to do that. I also bought super glue for my broken shoe. And that is how I fixed my shoe. Now, I am going to travel with super glue. I actually left it in one of my bags. So that is my friends, the end of my story, the what I packed versus what I wore. Thank you, Brenda, for inspiring this episode. I think it was a really fun topic. I hope you guys liked it. Would you let me know if this is something you want me to do again in the future? Now, also to those of you who are like, okay, you guys, there's been so many packing videos lately. I know, I know. We do have some regular cruise content, vlogs, stuff like that. It's coming. It just takes a really long time to edit. So please hang in there with us. I promise we still have that kind of content for you. We're not just the Sherry Pack With Me channel. I promise. Even though I do love these videos, they're really fun. Thank you for watching. Leave your packing mistakes down in the comments. Let's all learn from each other. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.